Today we're at beautiful Ojai, California at Golden Heart Ranch and we're with the pet psychic Laura Stinchfield Yay. and Al Vocalo who is the manager here at Golden Heart and a beautiful horse named Tamara. Tamara. Well, I'm glad to see you today, Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Tamara. Where did Tamara come from? She came from South America. Uh, she was in a Brazilian polo horse and she came up uh, to be used in the polo events in Santa Barbara, Las Vegas, New York, and uh, she did that in her younger part of her career and then they retired her and she uh, went to a private school here in Ojai and she was used for teaching young kids how to ride and, and, they, and she was there for probably about four years and then decided she didn't like that anymore. She didn't want to do it anymore. And she took a kid who was trying to learn polo and she showed him what polo was all about. She started running with him as fast as she could and made her polo turns and dumped him three or four times. <laughs> and, but he liked her a lot and he, he really wanted to keep her. And when she started having an attitude problem, the school got rid of her and gave her to a a clothing designer here in a clothing uh, a store here in Ojai called Barbara Bowman, Barbara Bowman's. And Barbara called me up one day and says, Oh, I got a problem horse. I got a really a problem with my son loves him, loves her, and I need to get her attitude back. And I said, Oh, okay, bring her over, bring her over. And she came over and she didn't like me in the beginning. And me and her just kind of stayed away from each other for a while, for about two weeks. I didn't. I left her alone in here and out in the pasture. And then gradually I'd start going out to her and, and you know, start touching her and petting her and everything. And we became very, very close. And then the day came when I had to get on her and uh, see if that attitude was still there. And I was shaking. I was saying, gosh, don't you do freaky things. Cause I know how fast these guys can turn and I know how fast they can go. And uh, she was a lot younger then. I got on her and she was just like butter. And she just, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't putting any pressure on her. I said, go where you want to go. I don't care, let's just do it. And she walked all around the ranch with me and uh, we became very close. And she's been here ever since. And I let people take her out and ride and everything. She's been on every trail in these mountains and she knows, she knows how to take care of herself. Wow. Well, we know that Laura is an amazing animal communicator. Yes. But it also sounds like you have a sixth sense too, a little bit about what horses are feeling or how they're reacting. Do you, is, is it a sixth sense or is it just body language? I think it comes with time. I think that once you've been around horses as much as I have and others have been by them, you get a sense of boundary and you get a sense of knowing what boundary is. And, and that's the whole key to having success with them and them having success with, with you, is to have the ability to realize that every horse has a boundary mm -hmm. and, and, you, and they have a bubble around them. And if you press it too hard, they're gonna not like it. But not like she's telling me right now, you know, that you have to be able to, to recognize that distance and when it's appropriate, like dating a girl for the first time. Right. When you, you just don't go straight in for the kiss, you, right? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you go real slow and easy. You leaded your heart. You mosey, though. as I was mentioning before. You kind of mosey up to him. You lead with your heart, though, too, don't you think? I think it plays a lot. I think that everybody that has had anything to do with horses has had scars in their life or had some things happen to them in their lives. And if anything, well, a famous senator in the 19 in 1920 his name was will rogers he said the best thing for the inside of a man is the outside of a horse huh. and he was my favorite uh, cowboy and i got the chance to see his monument in fort worth fort worth texas outside the will rogers stadium and i showed there and i would participated there and uh, and i saw that huge statue of him and i saw the engraving down at the bottom and i thought Guy, I gotta do some research on this man. And he was a, quite a horseman. Al, that's such a fascinating story. And, you know, we gotta take a quick break, but I wanna hear more and I want you to talk more with Tamara because she is just a beauty. And we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back. And we're back here on Animal Zone at Golden Heart Ranch with Al and Laura and Tamara. And you wanted to talk to Al a little bit about I Vietnam did. War. Yeah, so Al was in Vietnam 
And the horse is, and he, he has post-traumatic stress, right, Al, from being in the war. And the horses have really healed you. Can you talk about that a little bit, about what the horses have done for you? Well, let's put it this way. You don't recognize it until probably you're out and you're out in society. I didn't recognize mine until probably three years after I was out. That long, huh? I mean, don't they use, it wasn't PTSD before they knew about PTSD called shell shock? Yes, in World War II, it was known as shell shock. And, uh, and, and, and the key to it is, is I've been around animals my whole life, but I didn't realize that, that, uh, that it was gonna be a healing process also that was gonna encapture me. And I was in college at the time and I was going out to a farm called Kerr Stock Farm out in Riverside, California. And I went there on the weekends between studies. And I realized that I was carrying a lot of burden from what I'd seen and what I'd been in. And I wasn't shedding it very well. And I started being around the horses and I gradually felt it starting to release. It's hard to talk about this. And, uh, and, and over the years, it's really helped. And it's really would help anyone that is incarcerated, anyone that has gone through hardships. Uh, like I said earlier, the best thing for the inside of man is outside of a horse. Will Rogers, I quote him again. Uh, and it did help for me. It helped my mental attitude, helped my physical attitude. And watching the way they eat, if we ate the way they ate, I mean, tried to stay as holistic as possible, you'd live to 120. <laughs> Well, does Tamara have something to say about so, all, all Tamara, of her life? what do you yeah, think yeah, about fall like your, What <laughs> do you think about your life and like how you ended up here with Al? Like, what's what do you? She she said every horse should know an Al. She says that he cares more than anybody about her, and he goes through a lot to feed us. She said he really prepares their supplements and food, and she says it's not just because it's yummy; it makes her feel good too. She says that sometimes if Al's not in a rush, he just kind of relaxes and hangs out with them and they just all love it when he does that. She says he lives here with us. She says he all, we all live here together. He's like a roommate. <laughs> True. She said that she wants you to know that all the horses here love you and that they will always take care of you. So Al, do, have you ever broken down with them? I mean, like when you, have you ever like had those old memories come up and like broken down not and cried much, into a horse? Not as much horse? anymore. Um, when I do, I just, you know, kind of throw my arms around them like this. And I just kind of get right next to them and close and hold them tight. And, and it's like a, it's like a blanket, Aww. like they're mini. Oh. And uh, and they know, know. and they oh, can pick it up, really tight. <laughs> <laughs> and they can pick it up. That's so great. And what do you think about that, Tamara? What do you, well, I think I'll I'll hook her up. Like uh, both what ways. are we gonna do? Tamara says she feels like it goes both ways. She says that if you have a horse that has had trauma, and then also a person who's had trauma, then those two just do awesome together. She says because you heal each other's hearts. She says she's thankful for Al. Oh, and I'm thankful for her. <laughs> and I'm thankful for all of you. So yeah. thank you for being on Animal Zone today. We really appreciate it.